Cadillas. Sing it, she. Hello everyone, my name is Juliet Ambali and you're welcome to my channel. Welcome to this very special vlog. Today, I would like to take you along with me for my beautiful mother-in-law's intimate birthday celebration. First, we went to pick my mom from her house and before she came down, I went up to take some rice for us to eat on our way and then we set off to the birthday. mother-in-law wanted a very small and intimate celebration for her 60th birthday. She wanted about 40 people in all and I believe we had close to that number in attendance. When we got there, the finishing touch for the birthday was in top gear. Majority of the food preparation was done. Those doing the photo shoot area came at some point to work on it. She got ready and was looking so lovely and queenly. Then it was time for the ceremony proper to take place. We started with praise songs and hymns unto God. Then after we finished singing praises, the pastor preached a short sermon. And uh, as so we have come to take another hymn to, to God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now we put our people now. God bless you, Jesus. Amen. So we just shout hallelujah. And uh, just name me. I know there will be time for you to give this name, but I, and, uh, I'm ready to hear more. So we just shout hallelujah. Amen. Like I said, 15 years. 50 years is not, is not 50 days. 60 years is not 60 weeks. 60 years is not 60 hours. 60 years is not 60 minutes. It's going to be second or just Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Somebody say Thanksgiving. Say Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Let's read together. I want to go. Say, bless the Lord. Oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Me, praise God with all my precious things, with all my precious, including your time, including your soul. See this, I pray that will help me. I have been to have, I will to make good use of the time to exalt these three things that are within us. Number one, eat your breath. After the sermon, it was testimony time to talk about the celebrant. However, something terrible happened. You won't believe that after I said mine, because I was the first person to talk, the mic was muted for the rest of those who talked. It was so painful when I found out because those testimonies about her were mind-blowing. 
but I'll try to summarize or share points on what each speaker said because those things were really inspiring and I would like you all to learn a thing or two from what she said about my mother, or from what everyone said about my mother-in-law. Thankfully, one of my cousins-in-law suggested that some of those people, especially who weren't present, make a video to surprise her on that day. So I'll be sharing those clips as well. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Or rather, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It's such a wonderful privilege to be here this afternoon to celebrate this beautiful woman. My name is Juliet Ambadi, and I'm her first daughter-in-law. And you think the truth is, if I begin to talk about this woman, I don't think we'll be able to live here today. I've known her for almost. I'm sorry. Okay, I've known her for almost a decade now, and I'm, I can say, you know, many people always say mothers, mothers-in-law are very cruel and not nice and what have you, but not this woman. She has never been an unkind woman for any single moment. Since I've known her, she's a loving woman, very loving. If you know me, I, my emotions are on my sleeves. You, I cannot hide how I feel about things. So I'm not trying to look for sweet words to define her. In fact, I don't even have the right words to define her. She's humility personified. If you're looking for somebody who is humble, don't look too far. Just look at this woman. She's humble. She's kind. She's gracious. She will come to my house and I want her to just rest and know she will be going up and down doing one thing or the other. I'm wondering what kind of woman is this? She's, she's just more than what can ever describe. Now, so I, don't, I don't think a week passes by where I don't think about her or even talk about her. Even up to yesterday, I was still telling my husband, you know, when is just different. When you call her on the phone like this, if you had a bad day and you just call her on the phone, the way she will just say hello, in fact, just that hello alone, you feel joyful. She's she's just always happy, always kind. And I know that she goes through a lot in life, but she does not allow all the things that she goes through, you know, be on her. She's just such a joy, such a blessing. And it's not just her, but everyone in her family, they're just all like that. And I'm really, really grateful that God has brought me into this beautiful family. May God continue to make her see many, many, many beautiful years. May she be in good wealth, prosperity. May she, may she have joy unspeakable. I'm saying that this is the first half of her life. She still has up to 120 to go. And I know that God will continue to make it so in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. So my brother-in-law, Toby, who was also very emotional, talked about how amazing she has been all his life so far and how she inspired him to be a doctor someday just by calling him a doctor. He talked about how her pieces of advice are worth more than billions, and he appreciated her so much for making his childhood such a pleasant one. He said his mom was the first person to make him know that we don't breathe in CO2 but oxygen <laughs> because he confused them with each other. One of her nicknames is My Mom, and came about because he was the one who used to call her that a lot as a child, and so he told everyone to please give him his accolades. <laughs> She greatly influenced his life in ways unimaginable and he was really grateful and appreciative. Next was his dad who mentioned that, coincidentally, Toby, my brother-in-law, was born on the same day with her, only years apart, and he wanted just one thing to be done, for the pastor to pray for him, and so Toby knelt down and the pastor stood up to pray for him. Afterwards, my husband also talked about her and the sacrifices that she made to pay his fees, and the plainness of her heart, and how he doesn't have any worries about maybe settling any issues between her and someone because of how peaceful she is. Her younger sister also represented the siblings, sharing about how selfless she is, and how she knows quality materials, and always goes out of her way whenever her children are getting married to buy them for her. And then another friend also mentioned... How much of a friend she has been through the years and has never had any cause to settle any understanding between them. And then this is also her childhood friend who sang a song first and then made reference to the song that her friend is indeed walking in the light. She talked about how she has been instrumental in helping her enjoy her marriage with her godly pieces of advice. So her husband also, who is my who is also my mother-in-law's childhood friend mentioned that it means so much to him that his wife is friends with my mother-in-law and that she has remained the same all through the years and that was very sweet to know. 
Also, this is one of her friends, and they belong to a group called Virtual Sisters. She mentioned that when she first met her, many people referred to her as my mom. That's the nickname my brother-in-law gave her. She didn't know why, and she felt uncomfortable calling her that. But with time, she began to see that motherly nature in her and understood better. She made reference to how she takes care of her neighbor's daughter like her grandchild and how much she means to her for her beautiful nature and for the friendship that they all share. She then went on to shower her with prayers. After that, one of her church members mentioned how instrumental she was at his wedding and how zealous she is in the house of God. Also, one of the testimonies that touched me was this woman who mentioned how in the past she probably got goods for her, and I don't know what happened exactly, but she went back to her shop to carry away the goods my mother-in-law bought, got from her, even against her husband's wishes. She mentioned that after she did that, she started passing across the road just so she wouldn't pass her shop to greet her. But once my mother-in-law sights her from a distance, she will shout and say, Ayaba, Oloriesta, I'm greeting you. She's so peace-loving. <laughs> and it was so touching to hear that. I wish people could hear it first. And it means a lot to not get angry or take offense when you have been wronged. Happy birthday to my dear aunt, popularly called my mom. <laughs> and to BC. Happy birthday to you, Ma. Happy 60th birthday to you. I wish you long life, prosperity, more wealth, in good health in the name of Jesus. You will continue to reap the fruits of your labor. You will continue to eat the fruits of your children. Your children will call you blessed. And you will continue to, to conquer new territories in Jesus' name. I remember fondly how while I was growing up, you helped me. I remember when I was first getting into property, you were the one that taught me how to use a pad. <laughs> I remember very well. And then your friendship with me while I was growing was a lot of benefit. It taught me a lot of things, you know, growing up then. And I've never stopped to reason about the things that you have taught me then. I want to appreciate you for being a wonderful sister, cousin, aunt to us, me and my siblings, for always being there for everything that we have to do and everything that we're celebrating. You always show up and you always call to so even follow up on us as well. Thank you so much. We love and appreciate you and wish you all the best. Wish you a wonderful celebration and pray that everything that you believe God, that you're asking God for, that the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. He will bless the work of your hands. He will establish you and cause you to ride in high places in the name of Jesus. Have a fantastic day and happy celebration. Happy birthday to you, my mom. I wish you long life and prosperity. May God continue to bless you and provide for you. My mom, my mom, congratulations on your 60th birthday anniversary. We love you and we celebrate you. You are such a wonderful personality. You are someone that exudes love. You are someone that exudes selflessness. And we are grateful to God for sparing you till today. We pray that you will celebrate many more, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 and beyond by God's special grace. And on behalf of my siblings and I, we just want to say, wish you a happy birthday, and we pray that God will grant you long life, good health, and sound mind. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, everybody. My name is Tishi Ambali, and I want to wish my grandma a long and prosperous life and a happy birthday. That she will live many more years in Jesus' name, amen. Today is my mom's birthday. I am so happy because it's her birthday. I wish her long life and prosperity. I wish her life she will grow 100 years old in Jesus' name. I am so happy because she's, she's 61 years old. And I, am, I love her because she buys ice cream, bread, and drink for me. I'll give her all the coins that I have. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> mm, bye. Good day, family. For the sake of those who don't know me, my name is Mululua Ogundele. I'm here to talk about the wonderful attributes 
of a good mother. Her name is Mrs. Olavis Ibm Shito. Sometimes last year I was stood by my mom and dad that would be relocating to the UK. The first thing flashing into my head was where were we going to stay, who were we going to stay with, like, you know, um, being away from your mom and dad for a long period of time is going to, like, take some things away from you. So um, I was told later the day that I would be staying at my mom's place, me being happy that, yeah, she's a good mother, she's going to take care of us. When we, during our stay there, she did everything she could as a mother. She was so nice, so caring. She was, she's a mother. She's a nursing mother. Your love in life is contagious. You, you pour out your love to people every, every day in the year. Wishing you a happy six years, but they filled with smiles, laughter, and endless joy. May the Lord bless you, and you shall reap the fruit of your labor in Jesus' name. Amen. Her sister-in-law also mentioned how she takes great care of her own mother-in-law as if she gave birth to her and even more than she herself does and how much they all love her. Her neighbor also mentioned how he witnesses that they have such a peaceful family. Basically, everyone spoke kindly of her. Afterwards, there was game time to know how well the celebrant is known. People had a nice time trying to guess and I'd say many people got the answers right. Many people who were here, really know her so well, and it was so good to know. And then thereafter, we had the vote of thanks. I will sing of the goodness of God. I want to appreciate the Almighty God. I want to acknowledge God, that is God. He's the one that was, that is, and is here to come. He has been my keeper, he has been my helper. Mm -hmm. I want to appreciate him for what he has been doing in my life. My being alive today is by God's grace. Mm -hmm. It's by his mercy that he has kept me and my family. Mm -hmm. I want to return all the glory unto the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. He alone has worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. He alone has worthy to be adored. All glory must be to the Lord. I want to thank him, I want to appreciate him. He's a promise keeper. Yes. He promised me that through storm, through water, through fire, he will be with me. And he has been doing that. Yes. I want to appreciate him for keeping me and my family. I want to thank him for all he has been doing for me. My going and my coming in. Since the day I was born, he has been one that has been keeping me to this moment. I want to return all the glory unto him. I want to return all the adoration, all the praises unto the Almighty God. I want to say thank you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I want to thank my wonderful husband. Thank, I want to thank him for what he has been helping me. He's my dear partner. He's my best friend. I want to thank him for what he has been doing. God, for the wonderful children that God has given unto me. It's not because I'm a Christian. It's not because I'm going to church. But I just received that mercy from God. Because uh, when he, when our Yoruba used to say, eh, more, come on in. But there are some children. It's not, like, it's not because God does help you. I want to thank God for the children that he has given unto me. I want to appreciate him. I want to thank him. Our gathering today, they are the ones that plan it. When they told me that they want to mark my sister, celebrate my sister, I said, I don't want party. I don't want any celebration. They said, anyhow, any, okay. We were, we were on it all from February since I agreed. At last, I now agree. Then. If you want to do it, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay by me. We'll do it like that. But I thank God that today we plan again today. They plan it and today God made it a reality. Amen. I want to thank everyone, both male and female, that have come to rejoice with me. That things of joy will never cease in your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall continue to celebrate ourselves in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will pray for our children that they will go higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not be sorrowful over any one of them in the name of Jesus. 
We will not run their task get her because of any one of them in the name of Jesus. And we will not be bereaved in the name of Jesus. The Lord will order our steps. Anywhere we go, O oh Lord, the, the Lord will make every crooked way straight for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our business will prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. All our children together, the Lord will give them wisdom and understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our children, they will not know sorrow. Amen. We will not be sorrowful over them. Amen. We will not receive any evil arrow. Amen. We will not receive any evil letter Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we go, the Lord will go with us. Amen. The Lord will give us journey mercy. Amen. In this journey of life, we, I pray for each and every one of us that we will end well in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will end well in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not lose our salvation Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And once again, my husband was all here when I was talking about him. I want to thank him for all. Yes, don't for me. <laughs> Thank you. He has been wonderful. He has been a wonderful husband. He has been there for me. Some years back, I don't think in a month I will fall sick before that one month. You know. But I thank God that because God said there will be no plague, no disease that will come upon us. And I thank God that God has answered the prayer. I'm whole and happy now. No more sickness, no more plague in the name of Jesus. And even during that time, even if it's happening in the midnight, he, he's always with me. He stood by me, he kept me, he used to do everything for me. I want to appreciate him. And I pray for him that God will give him long life in the name of Jesus. You know, I, he will not be a widower in the name of Jesus. And I will not be a widow in the name of Jesus. We shall continue to celebrate in the name of Jesus. All our children together, we shall continue to see their days of joy in the name of Jesus. And we shall continue to celebrate in the name of Jesus. And things of this will never cease in our life in the name of Jesus. And I pray once again for everyone that as we go, the Lord will make every crooked way straight for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The joy of the Lord will be our strength. Amen. We shall go from power to power, Amen. from strength to strength, Amen. from joy to joy, Amen. from glory to glory, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, I'm saying thank you for every one of us. Amen. The Lord will uphold us. Amen. We will go from glory to glory, Amen. from power to power, in the name of Jesus. Even as we are going to another week, it shall be a week of our joy in the name of Jesus. It shall be a week of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Whatever may be the situation of Nigeria, the Lord will favor us in the name of Jesus. We will receive his mercy in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with our family. It shall be well with Nigeria. It shall be well with each and every one of us. And I pray for my people that are in our cross. Some of them spoke that time. I don't know when they plan all those things. The first person that spoke that time, she's my cousin. The my children that I was taking care of that time. I don't know when they plan all those things. But I pray that as many of our people that are over there, the Lord will be with them. Amen. The Lord will grant them favor. Amen. They will receive favor all around in the name of Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. You know, that space only is a little bit small for us. So the celebrants will go there to slam. Then Gabby will join her there. The rest of us will go on this side and slam on her again because the space is just too tight for us to stay. Celebrant, but I am the elder sister of the celebrant. Yay! <laughs> Hallelujah! Oh, I'm not the celebrant, but I'm the uh, junior sister to the celebrant. I'm not the celebrant, but I'm the friend of celebrant. Yay! I'm not the celebrant, I'm the in law of the celebrant. Yay! I am not the celebrant, I'm the celebrant's junior sister. Yay! I am not.
Yay. Brands, I'm the celebrant friend. Yay. I'm not the celebrant, I'm the celebrant neighbor's friend. Yay. Afterwards, there was marrying and feasting and much more. It was a memorable event indeed. Though it was intimate, it was such a pleasant one. And I'm really, really thankful to God. There was so much to eat. <laughs> From yam pepper soup to rice and the father stew, jollof as always, fried rice, amala, nabula, igusi, among so many other things. There was also souvenirs of varying sorts. It was just a beautiful time. and. I'm really thankful to God for the life of my mother-in-law. I'm thankful to everyone who came around to celebrate her. And I pray that by the special grace of God, his perfect plan for her life will be made manifest in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you had a lovely time watching it. I look forward to doing more vlogs. It was interesting doing this vlog and having you all in mind to share with. And I'm happy that she will get to watch this vlog as many times as she like. I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. I'm sure that you watch this video many, many, many times. <laughs> so as many times as you get to watch it, I hope you know that you mean the world to me. Thank you so much for being so wonderful. May God continue to bless you and prosper you every moment all the way in Jesus' name. Amen.